So I got a Next.js app. It's running right here in localhost. I'm going to show you how to put it on the internet with Vercel. And then we're going to get a custom domain with Namecheap. Let's do it. All right. So first thing we're going to do, head over to GitHub. We're going to create a new repo. You're going to call this whatever you want. Make this, I would recommend making it private. And then we're going to create the repository. So once we do that, we're going to copy this code right here, only up to the commit part. So we're going to copy that, come back over here. And then in the terminal of our project, the first thing we're going to do is say, git add period. And then we're going to paste in all of this and then we're going to click enter. We're going to come back here and we, you can see we left this out. We don't have to run git init because the Next.js project already does that. We did the git add period for everything. Now we refresh this. Boom. So we have now created a GitHub repo for our project. So once we do that, we're going to head over to Vercel.com and we're going to click add new project. And then once you connect your GitHub to your account, you do that like in the settings, it's going to show all of your repos. So right here, you can just simply click import. And if you have environment variables, you're going to set those there. That's pretty much good for all that. We click deploy and then we wait for this to be done. All right. So we see congratulations. Our project is ready. So continue to dashboard. And now if we click this domain right here, it's going to take us to our app. And this is actually on the internet, except this domain is pure dog mess so we're going to get a custom one using namecheap so do your boy a solid and click the affiliate link below to namecheap so if you do buy something i will get a small commission you don't pay any more money once we get over to namecheap you're going to type in whatever domain you want i'm going to call this make sure to use the affiliate link dot com we'll see if that's available and we can see that that is available but i don't want to pay ten dollars so i'm going to get this one Make sure to use the affiliate link dot online. We're going to add this to cart. We're going to go check out. So if we scroll down, I would maybe consider getting this premium DNS. I'm not 100% sure. For most of my websites, I actually want traffic on. I will use this. You can learn more about that if you want. So we're going to confirm our order and then we're going to click pay now. You're going to have to type in your credit card info. Mine's already set up because I have a name cheap account. So now if we head over to the dashboard, we can see all of our URLs and you're going to click on the one you want. You're going to go to manage. Once you're here, you're going to go to advanced DNS and then we're going to head back to Vercel and we're going to click domains and we're going to click add. And so we're going to type in our domain right here. So let's come back to this and I'm going to simply copy it. I'm going to paste it in here and then I'm going to click add domain. What the fuck are you talking about? So apparently it doesn't support dot online. So I had to buy another domain. Make sure to use the affiliate link dot mom. We're going to click add domain. And then this thing says recommended. So we're going to go with that. We're going to click add. And then we see right here, we get a C name record and an A record. So we'll do the A record first. We're going to copy this value and we're going to come over here. We're going to add new record an A record. We're going to do the at symbol. We're going to paste that in and we're going to save those changes. We're then going to come back to Vercel. We're going to copy this value, and this is going to be a C name record of www. So we're going to say add new record, C name, paste that in, www. And we're going to click this check mark. And then we're going to come back to Vercel and we're going to click refresh a couple of times. This could take anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. And we can see right here it says generating SSL certificate. So when you're on Namecheap, you have the option to buy one. You don't have to do that. If you're using Vercel, it's going to automatically set all of that up for you. So we're just waiting for this to load. This is going to take like maybe another minute or two, and then we're good to go. All right. So both of these things look ready to go. So now if we copy this link and we paste this in, boom, it goes to our website. Our website is now on the internet and it is using our custom domain. So there it is. If you learned something, subscribe. You want to learn some more, watch this video right here. See you next time.